Hey, buddy. Unfortunately, daddy has to go to work. Hopefully not too long, but when I come back, we'll do a treat time, okay? Well, you gonna be a good boy? Wanna do a treat time real quick before I go? Okay, we'll do that. Wanna come over here? He's gonna be mad at his daddy. You're gonna be, no, I think you're gonna be okay. Yeah. We're gonna be the man of the house for a little while, okay? Yeah. There's the mother. Oh. Last one for now, my friend. Oh. Well, I'm afraid I must tell you I have to depart now, okay, buddy? I'll be back later. Mm hmm. Hopefully, sooner than later. Or sooner rather than later. I can't even talk. No. Hey, buddy, I'm back. You came from upstairs. Hi, I'm back. It only took about three hours. We got it fixed, though. Yeah. Don't you want to come over and see how your daddy doing? You want to come over here? Oh, hey. Oh, got to stretch. Okay, okie dokie. What a good baby, huh? What a good baby you are. You were inside for the last couple hours or so. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for keeping an eye on the place, my friend. Yeah, I appreciate it. You wanna go outside now? You wanna go outside? Okay. I got a project I gotta work on in the basement. Yeah. It's probably, for your safety, probably better I work on it without you in the house, just in case I'm testing it and it gets too close to the electricity. Yeah. It'll be dangerous. Yeah, an electric cheetah, huh? Okay. Ooh, it is nice. A little windy. Yeah. We'll have to do a woods walk sometime this weekend. We're a little behind, of course, with the, the work thing, which was somewhat expected. Oh, you can take a dirt bath, buddy. He just loves dirt baths. Yeah. There's a little roll around in the dirt. Oh, a butterfly. Look at that. Where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Butterfly. Flying off in the woods now. Yeah, just avoided Cinnabon. Yeah, Cinnabon loves taking out little birds. Yeah, including butterflies, which are basically little birds <laughs> to him anyway. Check this out. This is a legit vintage Pepsi light up clock. This is probably from the, oh, I really don't know. I would say between the 50s and 70s. That's like 30 years, so that's a lot. I don't really know. If anyone knows, let me know. This belongs to a buddy of mine at work, and I'm going to go ahead and wire it to be modern. It's going to be LED. Right now, it has a fluorescent system. It's very old. It doesn't work. It only works basically 50-50, and there's a burned-out bulb, and then if you replace it, it burns out. There's the ballasts and starters, just old-school technology. It's hot. It's inefficient. It's a little bit dangerous, too, so we're going to go ahead and replace that with a modern LED system. These are the old bulbs. We're not going to be using these. And I'll go ahead and open up and show you what it looks like on the inside. But before we do that, I'll show you the back. It has some nice hangers on there so you can hang it up on the wall. So Pepsi Cola Company. Look at that information. I don't see a year on this. We have the power cable here. I do happen to have white electrical tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and redo this. I'll take it off too to see what happened. A pretty decent wire tie job, so I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna solder these so they're gonna be totally, totally secure and then I'm gonna rewrap it. Well, that's a little nicer. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it back up. See, that looks a bit nicer. Looks kind of like this, and there's another one on this side. And there's also a third one, which I already removed. The main assembly essentially lifts off the faceplate. So this is definitely the most delicate part, so we'll be very careful with this. And we'll put it aside for now. So here's all the innards. These are the starters, the ballast. There's two of each of these. The wiring's a little confusing at first glance. The bulbs would run this way. You can see over here is just burning into this enclosure. So we're going to leave a lot of this in there, but it's not going to be actually connected. We're going to disconnect a lot of it. We'll leave it in there just because it kind of belongs in there, even though it's not going to be used. And then we're going to retrofit it, essentially, with some modern LED technology. Pretty typical LED bulbs, 40 watts. I don't want to be too bright for these. And there's probably longer ones that might work better for this because the original ones are like three times as long as these, but I think it'll be fine just as is. We also have two of these. These are rated for outdoor use. I like the rubberized finish. I think it's gonna be nicer inside of this. Okay, here's some progress. We're roughly halfway done. So we have a lot of ends I just terminated because they are associated with the abandoned components of this. So just for, there's no really reason to do that other than just you don't want to get not electrically poked, but literally poked by the wires. Plus, it's probably not a good idea to have just random wires just hanging out in here. So I'll probably tape these back a little bit better and maybe use red or something and have like a legend, if you will, like a piece of red tape saying bypassed just to 
mark everything. So if anyone ever has to service this again, usually black is hot and white is neutral. Here they're both white, so you gotta be really careful with what you're doing inside of this. But we got it so far. This is neutral and this is hot. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and wire in the other LED. Just for fun, I wanted to show you what the LED looks like. I gotta figure out the positioning too. I may go center, but we'll have another one over there. So we'll see what it looks like with the top on there too once we get the other one wired in. You can hear it too, it moves very slowly. Every once in a while you'll see that thing jump a little bit. There we go. <laughs> if you blink, you miss it. Red probably isn't the best color to mark something that's not energized. It probably should be the opposite, but because there's a legend here that tells you what it means, it's okay. Basically it means that if it's marked red, it means it has been abandoned and there's no electricity going through it. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of extra wire between the two lamps here and where the power comes in. So the wire nuts are totally fine. If this was gonna be 100% permanent, I would totally use solder and shrink wrap. However, you never know what you're gonna change with this type of stuff or if you wanna change the bulbs with a different type of lamp. So the wire nuts make it a lot easier to disassemble if you ever wanna change something up in the future. Because some of these wires are thick, I'm gonna to have to use bigger wire nuts. Check it out, let there be light. We got two lights and I just gotta figure out where to arrange them. It almost sounds like a purring cat, doesn't it? I wonder what cinema will think when we get this thing finished. Okay, just set the top on as sort of a mock-up just to check out light placement. Let's see what she looks like when we light her up. Check it out. That actually looks pretty, fairly uniform. We could tell where the bulbs are actually at. I kind of like how they're a little higher just because of the Pepsi logo. Sounds like the clock's pretty healthy. My buddy was able to source some tape from, I want to say this is probably Area 51. Should be careful because I believe it contains something called Element 115, Ununpenium, Penium, which is now called Muscovium which is interesting, so we'll have to be very careful when we handle this stuff. All right, we got the LED bulbs placed. Now we just got to put the top cover back on. Well, that looks pretty dang cool. I do like how the lights are a little bit higher so they illuminate the Pepsi more than the bottom, but that can always be adjusted if need be. Pop the thumb screws in the back, and this thing is ready to be mounted. I'm sure my friend's gonna love it. Look who's back. Cinnabon, he's probably back because he wants some more food. And because he loves his daddy. Hey, Cinnabon, look what I fixed. Check it out. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this clock. Isn't that cool? Check it out. Be gentle. It's old. Older than both of us combined. Yeah. Even if you account for cat ears. Let's plug it in and see what he thinks. Ready? Oh. You like it, buddy? Isn't that cool? Sounds almost like a kitty pern, huh? Yeah, I think he likes it. Be careful, buddy. Don't want to get too close to that. No, no, no. Stay away from that part of it, okay? Yeah, the corners are okay, though. You can boop your head in the corners. <laughs> well, I think he approves. Somebody huh, has your stamp of approval? <laughs> okay, I'll take that as a yes. Well, thank you for watching, everybody, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Night-night, sweetie.